can I elaborate about you with fulvic acid? I can elaborate for hours if you like. Okay, that's a joke. You can laugh. All right, humic and fulvic acid minerals come from um, a rock okay, that uh, was peat, and it turned into sedimentary rock a long time ago. So they, they get these rocks, they pulverize them. It has, from the peat, a broad spectrum of minerals, a really broad spectrum, which is really what your body wants. You can get it, as some of it's called salgid, S-A-L-G-I-T, I think. And that's a little bit tangy, <laughs> okay. And they have it in uh, bottles. You can get it in a liquid form and use drops and build them up and, you know, go get their minerals. It'll get absorbed, plus it'll get this balance of minerals that the body needs. You don't need a lot of these other funny minerals that you've never heard of, but the body does use them. And you're right, slippery elm is very high in oxalate, so chia or something else. If you have an oxalate problem, you have to make a clinical decision of what you want to use. Sometimes when somebody is only tolerant to the slippery elm, I'll give them the slippery elm because it's going to create the mucus layer and um, stop the antigens from going in, cut down the inflammation. But you're absolutely correct. You know, So chia seed would be better. Uh, inulin, you know, or just going over to the XOS, GOS.